In this video, I'm going to be making a spice jar into a long-lasting ecosystem. Make sure to stick around to see the finished results. I first started with the jar. The inside of the jar was a little dirty, so I decided to wash it out. You can do this by just simply rinsing the jar out, but I always like to add a little soap. Just make sure you completely rinse out the soap when you're done. The next thing we need to address is the label. I can start by peeling it off. But once I peel the label off, there's always a sticky residue, which is actually, believe it or not, very simple to get off. I always use rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. I can now easily get the residue off with a little bit of scrubbing. And just like that, the glass is really clear. Now it's time to move to the other side. Which again, I start by peeling off the label. and I clean off the residue. Now the jar is perfect and ready to be made into an ecosystem. You may be wondering what I'm gonna do about the print on the bottom. The substrate will cover it up, so thankfully we won't have to worry about it. Speaking of substrate, it's now time to move on to the substrate. Substrate is one of the most important things in an ecosystem because it's one of the things that'll keep your ecosystem long lasting. I'll put a good substrate mix that I use up on screen. You may be wondering why I didn't add a drainage layer. Well, the jar is small enough that I shouldn't have to worry about a drainage layer, as long as I don't overspray it. I sloped the substrate up to the back for depth and a sense of scale. I then gave the jar a light spray down so that the substrate would stay in place. I wiped the glass a bit too. While you're here, why not consider subscribing? It really helps out. It's now time for the moss. I put the moss in and gently pat it down. I decided to only use this species of moss because the green was so vibrant. Some of the strands almost look like little ferns. If anyone could identify this species of moss in the comments, that would be awesome. I then added this botanical for more detail. Then in the back, I added this little twig to look like a dead tree. I got to experiment with it a little bit off camera. The jar looked great, but it looked like it was missing something. So I added a cutting of a ficus pumula corsifolia for more texture and interest. I then gave it all a nice spray down and the ecosystem wouldn't be complete without the springtails. I closed up the jar and the ecosystem was complete. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. If you enjoyed the video, why not go to another one of my videos or go to my channel? 